still sitting on the seat. Okay. I begin way more mobility. And weapons are a lot more dangerous when he's sitting on Okay. So my goal is to get him on his back first. Okay. One mistake I don't want you to do is try to push him here. Because if I push him and he gets his back, I'm going to go right into his guard. Okay. So what I want to do, okay, I'm going to grab the ankles, I'm going to lift. I'm not going to walk up to him because I go right into his guard. What I'm going to do is when I grab the ankles, I'm going to lift, I'm going to pull him towards me. Okay? Once I get here, I'm going to go just drop right into my knee cut position. So my left hand goes to the inside of the knee, my right hand goes to the hip, hop over. Well, okay? I want to keep myself wedged in between his legs, my right hand inside. Uh, inside. I want to try to keep his legs as open as possible. So I'm here, I'm going to wedge myself between his legs here. Okay, my hand's still on the knee, right arm stays in, because this is going to be keeping him from getting his knee shield again. Okay, and on my, with my heel connected to my butt, it helps me prevent the, the quarter guard. Okay, two things, two roadblocks in the knee cut position that'll prevent the knee cut or make it more difficult to pass is that knee shield and a potential quarter. Okay, so again, catch, lift and pull, drop over, okay? Stay low, okay? So now, once I get here, okay, my, the first step I'm gonna take is I'm gonna take my right foot, I'm gonna loop it, the windshield wiper it over his shin. So right now, I'm just sitting here on the inside of his thigh. Okay, so again, I'm here, my hands on his knee, I point my toes, bring it over his leg, and pass, okay? At this point now, once I get here and clear that foot, my left hand is gonna go underneath his arm, I'm gonna drop my knee, go to the other side. Now if I get here, over his arm, perfect. Okay, but most of the time, I'm gonna end up here, or with this forearm here in my hip. Okay? This or this will happen more often than not. Okay? The right hand stays a lot, the leg is used as a right hand. Okay? So, again, now lift, go toward me. Nice and wedge, and tight, okay? My right foot loops over, okay? Now I'm using my right hand to split his legs open just a little bit more. Left hand goes in, okay? As I bring it in, I switch my hips, go right to the side control, and push, okay? I want my, my left elbow high, and my left butt cheek to sit on the shoulder, okay? This is where I want to get to stop. I want you guys to do this thing five to ten times each, and then we'll move on. Questions? Everybody? Okay. So what I'm doing is because I'm sitting on the shoulder, it's really easy for me to slide my butt back. Okay. So again, the lifter, my left foot on the shoulder, checking legs. Okay. Now. this arm. Okay? Now, when I get here, okay, I want to pull this arm and have it wrap around my ribs. I want to hug the arm under the elbow. Okay? So, my, the, the crook of my elbow is on his forearm. My wrist goes under his elbow and I cup his tricep. Okay? Once I get a hold of this, I'm going to start walking towards his torso. Okay? Once I get here, I hold to my right foot, I bring my left arm back here, okay? I'm, I'm bringing my elbow back toward his head. At this point, I'm gonna lay back, throw my shoulder over, or my leg over. So you just, your shoulder's super tight, huh? <laughs> 
over the feet, the body here. Okay? Once I get here, okay, my elbow comes down on my ribs, I pull up on the elbow, and I just turn my armpit down into his ribs. Okay? So again, when I'm here in the position here, okay, I'm pulling up, I get close to the body. My elbow comes up, okay, and by the armpit. When I drop back, oh shit, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not my shoulder. <laughs> okay, I lay back, flat. My left leg comes over the torso. I'm curling down. Okay. Elbow comes down. Tilt. Make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. So again, so we're here, I'm sitting here in twister side control, checking, okay, to walk back. To clear this leg to arm, catch it. <laughs> Please. Okay, pull the arm back, sit here, okay? Now, I'm gonna lay back, bring my leg over his body, okay? Up on the elbow, I mean, leg curling up on the elbow. I pinch my right elbow down on my ribs, on my ribs, and then I pull. So, what are you doing with the, his arm? I don't see it. How you turn it? Just armpits down yes. and elbow up, right? Thank you. This is the motion right here. You don't have to go that far. It's just the tilt like so. Make sense? <coughs> Any questions? Ready to play? Just come with three. Boom, here. So, for whatever reason, okay, I'm kind of turning it away and trying to go for maybe running his legs away, okay? And I can't get my leg over. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because he has this grip, I'm gonna use my torso to create a wedge between his hands. Okay, so it's almost like like prying his hands apart with my with my body. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my legs. My right hand's gonna come to the hip. As I go to side control, I'm smearing my chest on his chest. My left elbow comes back. Okay, my left arm comes under the head, pick his head up and if I need to readjust, but I should feel his, the back of his neck and the crook of my elbow. Okay, I'm going to take my chin over the shoulder. I go for a rear naked tilt grip here, okay, and then I just bring my hand to the side of my head. Okay. So, right now, when, when I'm going for that choke, my bicep is here. My chin is locking his shoulder in place. And as I squeeze, it pushes my chest into the shoulder. It's pushing his shoulder into the neck to give me the choke. Make sense? Okay, so again, I'm tying myself. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I need, that's why I need this hand here on the hip. I'm creating counter pressure. As my left hand goes this way, my right hand chops. Okay, I switch as I go to my knees, I'm smearing my chest on his chest, and I'm bringing my arm back to go around his head here. Okay, I want my head, my arm as deep as possible. Okay, and again, I should come over, rear naked toe grip, bring my hand to the side of my head, and slowly squeeze. Space 
turns purple. Make sense? Pretty simple. What if uh, happen couple time in training if arm goes up, not near the body? Then you messed up something in the process. It shouldn't. Because I'm pulling the arm back. If my chest comes off of his chest, mm -hmm. then the, poss the possibility that will happen. Okay, but what, as I'm coming around here, look, this arm comes back. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here. Now his arm's in my armpit. I get my arm around his head here. Oh, I mean, as arm, his right arm. When you pass in the, when you slice in the knee, his arm up here. His right arm up there. Yes. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So if I so, now, so if his arm's here like yes. this, yes, correct. It's fine, I'm still do the same thing. The only difference is I don't have that arm in the way, I don't really have to worry or fight about mm -hmm. breaking that grip now. I'm still gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna come here, this arm's gonna come back, smear, look. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, as uh, me twisting my body. As I see the twisting and turning and smearing, that's what's helping me break it. Yeah. I'm basically I'm using my body and twisting it and making it bigger and tight spot. So as as I'm as I'm twisting, his arms are doing this. And as my arm pushes his arm this way, my body's pushing this arm that way. That's how some that's why I was saying I'm creating a wedge and I'm pushing him apart with that. Using my body. Cool. Let's go play. One, two, three. Switch. Push. Pull him up. Okay, so for whatever reason, I've tried the choke, whatever, can't get it, okay? This is just an option, okay? You should be able to get this choke if you have it locked in, okay? But if arms are short, whatever the case may be, okay, or you just wanna to choose to do this next step, we're just gonna bring the arm, I'm gonna cuff the back of the neck, bring my arm under, punch, and just go right into the darts, okay? Then I sit, my hip, Catch the bottom or the top leg, okay, and then pull it in. And just like I did with that other choke, keep the chin over the shoulder, okay? Because a mistake a lot of people make, when they sit to their hip, they sit away. And when you sit away, the head, the head and arm slide down, thus loosening up the choke. So when you use your chin on the shoulders as a point of reference, it make, ensures that you keep it tight, okay? And it's in the right position that it needs to be in to finish a choke. If your chin leaves the shoulder, you're gonna lose it. Make sense? Okay, so when I'm, again, when I'm here, okay, I cup the back of his neck. My right hand comes out. As it punches under, I pull his head in. Boom. Okay, keeping my chin here, I drop my hip. Okay, I don't sit back like this. See my chin starting to come away? Keep it here, I drop to my hip towards his legs. I hook. And then I just squeeze. Okay, so the whole process again. So again, we grab the ankles, I pull, boom. Knee cut, okay, tight past the foot. This hand comes in, boom, drop. Sit back, pass the arm. Cat yeah, tried to go through the inverted arm lock, but he grabs his hands. Chop, pass the down, bring the arm around. I have the first choke that we just did, where I pull him up, punch. 
figure four, okay? Then I slide towards his legs. I hook, pull it in, squeeze. Make sense? Now, the beauty of this, good defense is this arm and ribs, okay? Because what will happen here is, so from here, what happens a lot of time here, when I get this figure four in, your opponent gets that arm around the hip, okay? I'm still gonna sit in, I'm still gonna hook, okay? Because what, what's happening is I'm not sitting away to create that space for that arm to be effective, okay? I'm that's why I have to keep my uh, chin on that shoulder. And ensure, again, it ensures that it's nice and tight. Okay? My arm is on one side, and when I sit, even if this arm's here, it's my forearm pushing into the armpit that pushes the shoulder in, uh, into the neck. Now, when I'm here again, and it gets the arm around. Now, if you notice, he's here, he starts to coming up, or he's going to his knees. So hold it, keeping it, the chin close. He walks away, looks his back. Keep my chin. Make sense? Again, no matter what position you walk to, my point of reference with my chin on that shoulder. Make sense? Questions? Oh shit, come back. Who else are you? Alex. Alex, come here. <coughs> yes. Okay, so again, we're here. Boom, I come around. Up. Okay, this man comes under, punch, roll. Okay, again, my chin on the shoulder. I sit my hips towards his legs. Hook, squeeze. Okay, bring your arm through. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm still gonna stay under that arm. Yes. 